What's up everyone? I'm Amanda H. Lee. I'm at home with Sweetie High and this is Share or Dare. I'm a little bit nervous because I've heard there was some uh, sneaky little questions about my phone and what's in it So hopefully I don't get exposed too much, but I'm excited to share it all with you guys All right, so this is my first question Share the last text message you sent Ooh, I don't know if I can do that I have a feeling I know what it was and I you know, some things need to stay personal. So I'm gonna do the dare and it says to prank call your best friend and tell them you just broke all your toes. So, you know what? I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna prank call my best friend. Her name is Marissa and I guess we'll, we'll see what she says. Yo, I am kind of stressed out right now. Uh, I kind of like fell downstairs and like my toes, they all kind of hurt a lot. So like, I can't really walk. I think I might've broken them. What? Yeah, like, can you come and like, I don't know what to do, I'm kind of stressed out. Okay, stay where you are, I'll come. Wait, okay, wait, wait, don't come. <laughs> this is a prank call. Sorry, I'm shooting something. But I appreciate that you were, you know, about to come. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Help, man. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Um, I gotta go, but yeah, now you're on a, a video, so. Anyway. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. I'll explain okay. all after. Okay, okay bye. bye. <laughs> okay, well. I'm a bad actor, so like I feel like she probably knew, but um, yeah. <laughs> okay, next question. Share your favorite and least favorite YouTube videos you've made. My favorite video that I've ever made, oh, there's so many. I've been on YouTube for seven years, so there's a whole catalog, but the one that I can most recently think of is my August plan with me because I really like the theme. I'm a big fan of Studio Ghibli, so uh, I got to draw a bunch. And my least favorite YouTube videos would basically be any video that I made when I first started on my channel in 2013 because it's just so cringy and I was like 14 years old. It was not great. So I try not to go back into the archives too, too much. All right, so next question. Share the most embarrassing thing you've written in one of your bullet journals. This is a question, this is a good one because I feel like uh, a lot of people see my bullet journals, they think they're so pretty and aesthetic and and like my, have my life together, but I actually use my bullet journal in my everyday life, which means writing down embarrassing tasks. And you know, I share that with the internet as well. So sometimes I feel a little self-conscious with the things that I write down in my to-do list. Like I'll write the most mundane tasks, like I need to buy tampons or something. And then it ends up being shared on the internet. So. That's something that I, you know, I've been doing this for four years, so I'm okay with with it. But at the beginning, I was like, do I write this down? <laughs> um, but you know what? It's natural. A girl's got to buy tampons. Share the last video of you singing on your phone. Actually, I mean, this is perfect. I think I just posted on my Instagram stories. I post these like little ukulele guitar covers. I am by no means like a professional singer. I just enjoy it. So I think the last video that I have of me singing on my phone was literally from last night. And I sang um, Drive My Soul By Lights, which is a throwback song that I love. So yes, <laughs> enjoy. I can't follow the way she moves. I can't see past the shadows. You make the darkness disappear. I feel found when you stay near. Next question is the last photo in your phone of one of your drawings. Oh, there's so many. Uh, this is like my job, so let me see. Oh, it's of my um, August bullet journal spread 
from last year. I just really liked it, so I screenshotted it. It's kind of like 80s vibes and, you know, makes me feel so summery. So I think I was comparing it to this month's August theme and like the differences, but yes, that's, that's the last one I have. And next we have your last Instagram search. Oh, this, let me check to see if it's embarrassing. And if it is, then I will do the dare. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do the dare. <laughs> so the dare is DM your celeb crush the lyrics to Dua Lipa's love again. Okay, this is perfect. Celebrity crush, ooh. I mean, I think the one that everyone knows me for is BTS. I, I love BTS, so I will happily DM BTS they are killing it right now, so I'm sure they won't see it, but if they do happen to peek into the DMs, then I'll be there. We have to choose some juicy sections to the lyrics, you know? Something that really speaks to my love for BTS. You know what? This is it. Never, never have I met somebody like you who used to be afraid of love and what it might do, but damn, you got me in love again. You got me in love again. That's what I'm gonna do, okay. So let's DM the boys. <laughs> All right, so I am DMing this to uh, BTS. So, <laughs> you know what? I hope they read it. Even if they even if they are bomb me, then at least I can have the knowledge that you know they saw it. I don't think they will though. So, I did it. <laughs> BTS, slide it to my DMs. So that was fun. I really enjoyed sharing all different sides of me with you and I, you know, I had fun DMing BTS as well. It's probably something I would have been doing in my free time anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Sweetie High for more videos like this. I'm Amanda H. Lee and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!